Hey everybody, Patrick Law here, and I'm going to be doing a reaction video on a video from Beyond Science called Seven Creepy Old Wives Tales You Need to Remember. And uh, the link to the original video will be in the description box, and uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I know that one old wives tale being a whole, if you swallow gum, that'd be like, that'd be like seven years it would take for it to, to be digested, which we, we all know, we all know that that's just, that's not true because, because for, for gum, it takes the same amount of time for it to go through your body as regular food does. And, and you can clearly find that out for yourself if you do some research. Uh, anyway, uh, let's find out what these certain old wives tales are. Uh, so let's uh, roll the tape. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mikey Chan. Old wives tales are typically stories told by parents to either explain an unknown phenomena or used as a tactic to scare us into not... Oh, link to the, the link to the original video is in the description box down below. Uh, I probably said it once already, but just want to say it again just to be like just to be sure. Doing something. I mean, who hasn't been told that if you swallow gum, it's gonna take seven years to digest, or if you go swimming less than an hour after you eat, it's gonna give you stomach cramps. But those are merely the kid-friendly versions because some old wives' tales are downright terrifying. So. Here are some of the most disturbing old wives' tales ever told. And you know what? I would try to remember these because it's better safe than getting killed by an evil spirit. Number one, dead people with open eyes. This is a popular belief in Britain where if a person died with their eyes open, they were looking for someone to take with them to their final destination. In earlier times, it also could mean the eyes were being kept open by evil spirits that won't let the dead rest, or it's a sign of life unfulfilled. To prevent this from happening, British people would actually close the deceased eyes and place pennies on them to keep them closed. This practice was actually derived from the Greeks who would place a coin in the mouth of the deceased to pay the ferrymen to take their soul across the river Styx into Hades. Number two, see your future husband. Hmm, I wonder what my future husband or wife will look like. We've all thought this when we were young, but for all of you young ladies out there, according to a really, really creepy old wife's tale, you can actually find out. Now there's a few versions of this. One version says, you should go secretly into a room at midnight of Halloween and cut an apple into nine slices. You should then eat the apple slices in front of a mirror in a dark room with only a lit candle while holding each slice on the point of a knife before eating it. As you do this, you will supposedly see the image of your true love over your left shoulder, asking for the final slice of apple. So let me recap. Midnight, Halloween night, you're supposed to go into a room secretly, so no one knows you're going in there, with an apple cut into a really odd number of slices, with a sharp knife, and you're supposed to eat the apple by stabbing the knife and placing the edge of the knife basically in your mouth. And, and is some random guy supposed to show up over your left shoulder asking for that final slice of apple? That sounds like you're about to get stabbed. Yeah, I was gonna say, doesn't that sound like the sort of thing you would, you would hear in a horror film? Because that sounds that seems like the sort of thing you would expect to see in a horror film. Plus, there's a number of things wrong with this old wives' tale. Like, what if like if you were someone who lives with your parents and you were to do this, what if your parents were to come and walk in on you when you? When you when you're doing this, don't you think that they're gonna think that you want to try and commit suicide? And 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 that's that says that me making fun of suicide. Please don't take that the wrong way. It's just it's just like don't you don't you parent, would don't you think your parents might think that you're trying to self inflict harm or worse trying to commit suicide? Because that that's 
That's crazy. Because that's crazy if you think about it because like some people could lit could quite literally take it the wrong way and misinterpret what you're doing. Which is scary. If you think about it. Plus not only that but also if you got a roommate plus also if you move to your parents' place and you either and you're living on your own and you and a friend or, or sibling were staying off at your place don't you think there's a chance that, that if one of them walks on you they might think that they might be worried about you thinking you try to self inflict harm or something like that because that is true something like that could happen another version says you should comb your hair while eating the apple and looking in the mirror in order to see your future spouse over your shoulder and this last version i find the most disturbing it says at midnight you May should you, walk you see down the stairs true love space. backwards while holding a mirror and this way you will see your future mate i guess in the mirror now here's why i think these methods are flawed the first version like i said uh eating apple slices with a knife in the dark room while looking at a mirror okay I'm already going to be freaked out if some creepy person or spirit pop up next to me in the mirror, likely with the intent of dragging me to the depths of hell. I'm not giving this thing a weapon. And come on, really? Asking to eat my apple? Who is this? The ghost of Snow White? And the version where you walk down the stairs backwards? I think that only works if your future husband happens to be the paramedic who show up after you fall and then cut yourself up with the mirror you're holding because you decided to walk down the stairs backwards in the middle of the night. Number three, chewing gum after midnight. Like I mentioned, we've all heard the whole if you swallow gum, it'll take seven years to digest thing, but according to an old wives tale from Turkey, if you chew gum after midnight, it will transform into rotten, decaying human flesh. But you know, the good thing is that, well, at least it won't stay in your stomach for seven years. Number four, sleep. There's a bunch of old wives' tales surrounding what happens to a person when they fall asleep. Some believe that if you had plants in your room, it would suck up all the oxygen and kill you. You know, this is why I never trust plants. If you don't believe me, watch my terrifying thing. You wanna know what the worst bit is? I bet there's some people who would actually have conspiracy theories about plants, and this is one of them. I bet this all. I bet this all was to you about about how that if you got plants in your room, they will suck out the oxygen and kill you in your sleep. I bet you, some crazy ass person is going to turn out into a freaking conspiracy theory. Probably David Icke. Like th th let's face it. Let's face it, David Icke is probably dumb enough to turn that into a freaking conspiracy theory. Because he came up with the whole conspiracy theory about lizard people. So why not conspiracy theory about plants? This video. There are others who say sleeping in direct moonlight could cause insanity or blindness. Sleeping while facing a mirror would reflect back negative energies, and the creepiest award goes to the tale that says when you get married, whoever falls asleep first on your wedding night will be the first to die. That'll be now me. on to the scariest topic of all, number five, babies. Yeah, babies are terrifying. There are a lot of old wives' tales regarding babies because in the past, infant mortality rates were really high and people had to come up with reasons to explain them. In Russia, it was said that new mothers should not show off their newborn baby to strangers or take it out in public for at least 40 days. This will ensure that no negative energy or evil presence latches onto the baby. In the Dominican Republic, there was the story of the Bruja Witch, which is a witch that can transform into a large bird. However, in order to change into its bird form, the Bruja has to do something disgusting. It has to peel the skin off its body. Then, after the transformation, it will suck out the blood of a newborn baby through the navel or toe. Number six, whistling. In some countries like Korea and Turkey, Okay, uh, now the, uh, the, the baby one, um, I remember hearing about the whole Buha thing, because it was, uh, I think I may have watched this film a few years back in 2016, but I remember there was a TV show called Monsters and Mysteries in America, and, and they actually mentioned, and there was actually a part of the episode where they mentioned about the Buha, and, uh, yeah. 
Uh, that's actually kind of creepy. And that's actually, that's actually disturbing that the Bruja would have to peel the skin off and then drink the blood of a newborn baby. King Crisley at night was considered to be calling for evil spirits or even the devil himself. But the creepier version is definitely from Japan where there were a lot of child trafficking going on there. And when you whistle, it signaled to sellers that a child was ready to be taken and kidnapped. Thus, legends were spread to children to frighten them by saying that whistling attracted ghosts. That way, the kids would stay quiet at night and be safe. Number seven, doors. Okay guys, take some notes because this could one day save your life. It is said that if you hear someone knocking on your door or ringing the doorbell and you open the door and find nobody there, then you should keep the door open a few seconds before closing it. That's supposed to mean a good spirit is at your door and you are welcoming it in, like Jasper or something. But pay attention everyone because here is where it gets kind of tricky and may save you from a based on true events horror movie being made about your life. If the door knocks three times and no one is there, then don't open it because you may be letting an evil spirit into your house. If the back door knocks with no one there, it means the devil is now at your door. If your front door opens on its own, it means bad news is coming. If the back door opens on its own, it foretells a coming death. So maybe just sulfur the heck out of your doors and windows or go live in a tent. And I'll tell you guys this, I'm not letting any spirits into my house. Be yeah, dude, so I'm actually going to I'm gonna buy many types of soap. Or table soap probably, and loads of tubs of sea soap, and then I'm going to make a soap line if I go across the front door, back door, windows, and all the windows in the room, how in, in the house, like living room, kitchen, bathroom, shower room, bedrooms, and if there's an and if there's a window in the attic, the same for the attic, but just like a salt line in the attic to stop any nasty spirit, any spirits from coming into my house. Be a good, bad, if you don't drew slimer or a genie that could grant me three wishes. No thanks, stay out please, and doors opening on their own. I don't care who's coming in, I'm, I'm leaving. I, if the door opens on its own in my house, I'm moving out. And here's a really creepy, supposedly true story that's related to the whole door knocking thing. According to the Knoxville News Sentinel, a woman named Emily Miller lived in a house in Sequoia Hills alone. Her husband had died a few years back. One early morning, the front doorbell rang, but no one was there. Then the doorbell kept ringing every other night after that, at exactly 3 a.m. No logical explanation could be found even after she stayed up multiple nights waiting to catch whoever or whatever was ringing the bell and she even installed a motion sensor camera at the front door as well as called the police on numerous occasions but no one ever saw anybody actually ringing the doorbell. Miller said it's not an electrical problem because the doorbell is a wireless device that needed a hard twist to sound. So this went on for two to three years before Miller finally told her son to just get rid of the doorbell. So the son removed the doorbell, threw it away, and then filled in the hole where it was. But then guess what? At 3 a.m. the next morning, the doorbell rang again. It was so disturbing that Miller decided to leave the house and move into a condo. Now, what I don't understand is if the story is real... Okay, so I think it's safe to say... These old wives tales are rather creepy. Well, yeah, I want, yeah, the one about, uh, the one about where you meet your future spouse. Yeah, don't do any of those ones. It, it's going to end bad for you, especially if you're, especially like if you're a young lady who wants to get, who wants to know who her future husband would be. Don't do it, because it's going to end badly for you, and and just please don't do it. Yeah, anybody watching this reaction video made it to the end, please take my advice and don't, just don't believe everything you see or hear, because it's not, it's not going to, it's not going to end well. Uh, if any of you enjoyed this reaction video, then please hit the like button. 
and uh, and if you enjoy my videos and are interested in, in seeing any more videos I upload please hit the subscribe button and turn on notification and uh, yeah until uh, next time goodbye for now and I hope you all have a good day or night depending on what time it is you're watching the uh, this video